hello everyone welcome to ksr data vision i hope all are you doing well so myself si babu today i am going to explore about power bi february month updates so microsoft people come up with very exciting updates in the february month so uh, let's jump into the topic so if you see uh, if you want to know about the power bi updates monthly so you please visit this url powerbi.microsoft.com this is the blog where you get the uh, monthly power bi updates if you want to get the latest monthly updates uh, by email just here enter your email and you can subscribe by email so if you see this is the uh, power bi monthly updates blog here if i scroll down there were a lot of updates are the released so first of all i'll check with so this month power bi version is 2.1140.1078 and the date published is 22 2025 so in this month if you see in the general uh, they upgraded to uh, power bi desktop 64 bit version and uh, there is uh, some copilot and ai updates are there and if i come to the reporting mainly conditional formatting support for visual level calculations still it is in the preview mode and in the modeling also there were some live edit of semantic models in the direct lake mode power bi status um, desktop so in this way there were a lot of updates here so if we go through some of these updates so this is about copilot and ai how copilot are generating the visuals by using the natural language so and uh, if you see how copilot is breaking the that answer into here there is an option called explore this visual so if i scroll this so if i come to the reporting so i hope you know there is a visual level calculations in the power bi desktop we have to do some visual level calculations so for that visual level calculation in this month they newly came up with the update they will support for conditional formatting support for visual level calculation still it is in the preview mode so let's jump into the power bi desktop i can demo this how we can apply conditional formatting support for uh, visual level calculation so let me open my power bi desktop so if you see uh, this is uh, my power bi desktop so first of all if you want to know how we can uh, calculate visual level collection for that you have enabled the preview features for that click on file in the file go to options and settings in that click on options once you click on options so here it will open the window let's wait it's opening yes it is open so in this there is a option called preview features click on this preview features here if you see there were a lot of preview options are there so here make sure that you have to tick this visual calculations you have to check box you have to select this check box visual level calculation if you check this visual level calculation then only that visual level calculations will appear here here currently it is uh, grayed out it's because of we, had, we didn't select any visual so let's start the practicals so i'll take one table chart so in the table chart so i want to know about month wise sales first i'll drag the sales measure where is sales my sales is here so this is the month wise sales now i want to calculate the percentage of first month sales so for this if i select this visual just go to this ellipsis in this ellipsis if you see there are a lot of options in this just on how the new visual calculation here there is a option called versus first click on this versus first so here it is asking to fail so here what i will do divide sales comma minus first of sales comma sales so now i want to calculate the percentage of first month sales of each respective uh, month so now completed my visual level calculation i'll click on ok so now it is coming so if you see here actually it is coming in the normal uh, decimal number it's not in the percentage number so how we can convert this into the percentage just go to format visual in the format visual there is an option called general click on general and there is an option called data format in the data format already it is selected so here you can select and uh, here just turn on the percentage format just turn on so if you turn on see automatically it is converted into a percentage so now this is completed so first let me apply conditional formatting to the this uh, percentage so for this what i'll do i'll click on the 
this option then right click on this versus first measure so go to conditional formatting just uh, let me select icons if i select icons so uh, for now i'll keep it as a default but uh, based on your requirement you can change this percentage and all just i'll click on okay so if you see this is coming according to the visual level calculations that the conditional formatting so now i want to see the month uh, i want to apply conditional formatting month also i'll go to this versus first and right click on this just click on the edit calculation once you if you click on the edit calculation it will uh, show the visual level calculations now you can right click on the month name so click on the conditional formatting now here what i will do i'll uh, choose background color so i'll choose background color here you can go if you see i'll select gradient so in the gradient what field should we base this on so in this i'll choose that visual calculations measure so this is the versus first measure i am calculating the percentage just click on this and for the lowest value i'll select red and for highest value i'll select the green so now what i'll do i'll click okay so if you see now automatically whatever the conditional formatting i selected it is automatically applied to this according to this percentage so this is how you need to apply visual level apply conditional formatting and the visual level calculations this is very excited update but make sure that this is still in preview mode don't explore this in your production environment until and unless it has a ga availability now let's jump into the uh, power bi updates blog so like this i demoed this one conditional formatting support for visual level calculations if you scroll down there were uh, some lot of updates published to web support for azure map visual and if you scroll down some modeling and some data connectivity updates are there and this month uh, they come up with uh, some new charts like drill down donut pro and drill down donut pro i think this is pi i think uh, heat map by powerviz and uh, there were one one more is and maximize the data efficiency with echo master data written back for power bi this is one custom visual like this if you go through this blog you will get all the complete details from the february 2025 power bi updates we will provide uh, this link in the description and if you want to know about what is visual cal level calculations and uh, how we can implement go to this url here they clearly demonstrated what is visual level calculations we will provide this link in the description box go through this url also you will get the idea about what is visual level calculations so this is about um, power bi february 2025 updates thank you for watching please like thank you all we'll meet you on the next video